Hi guys, welcome to the Solmanad Show with Sonia. We are going to go ahead and get this turkey ready. So, happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys and thanks for joining us. Hold on just a second, Mom, I wanted to get this. So I picked up this turkey at Costco. Can you guys see this? Or, excuse me, Vernon did, he got it this year. I don't know if that is, is that, Jordan, is this gonna read backwards if I turn it this way? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we have a nice, young, organic turkey. Um, Mom's gonna go ahead and cut into that. And Sonia's going to clean it. Oh my gosh, my mom's going to make me clean it this year. Ugh. I've done it just a couple times before by myself, you guys, and I swear the PTSD is kicking in. Um, okay, I'm going to try and do this. Ugh, I'm getting chills already. I'm going to try and do this, and... Um, oh my gosh, gross. Okay, can you guys see that? So, mom's taking out the insides. Mom, do you remember when Simone helped us three years ago? And you I pulled out. Just oh. gonna tell that story. <laughs> okay, tell that story, Mom. <laughs> As I'm cleaning the turkey and pulling out the stuff that's stored inside, my granddaughter Simone says, Grammy, is she pregnant? <laughs> She really was so concerned, too. Oh, my gosh, that poor child. Okay, so Mom's going in there and... Oh, my gosh. She's cleaning all this out. I don't know how you get this thing out. See, you guys, I grew up plucking chickens, so I kind of have a few phobias because of it. I, I know I'm a city girl, but we had chickens and... That was easy, just the neck. Okay. Okay. Oh. And I trim off the fat. Okay. And of course, the sink is all scrubbed out. Our hands are scrubbed and cleaned. Oh, you see, isn't Mom doing a great job? That's good, Mom. And then here's the other step. You also have to check the neck. Area. The neck cavity. <laughs> That's it. This was the easiest one, Sonia. Okay. You're doing a great job, Mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you say that because you don't want to do it. What? No. Hi, Timalu. Are you going to help us? <laughs> Can you guys see this okay? And then you rinse it all out real good. <coughs> You're doing a great job, Mom. Can you guys see this okay? Hey, Christy. I hope you guys had a nice uh, Skype with... You got that? with the foster family. Hi, Juju, love you, boo. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Christy. I'm glad you guys are on here. Please click the share button so you guys can share it and other people have an opportunity. And if you guys have any questions about prepping your turkey, you can submit your questions right here. What is that, Mom? The hair pipe, probably. Oh. Got a little more fat to trim off. Oh, yeah, you're doing a great job, Mom. Oh. I'll inject the butter when it's done. Um, do you also want me to soften some butter for you? I have the olive oil here, but do you also want that? Soften butter? No? Okay, good. Oof. Okay, it's ready to be stuffed. Okay. All right, so if you guys remember uh, in yesterday's show, we made the stuffing already. So we have that all prepped, ready to go here. There we go. Can you see that? Half of it will go inside the cavity, and you don't want to pack it too tight because remember, it does expand. And then, uh, the other half will go in a baking dish and we'll put that in the oven 
um, the last 40 minutes or so while uh, the turkey is, is in the oven late, uh, baking later on today. And then I'm going to make my homemade uh, gravy with that. And we have the mashed potatoes and I'll make a spinach salad. Otherwise we made the corn yesterday and we prepped the beans as well. Okay, so here goes mom. She's gonna stuff it. I need a bigger spoon. Okay, let me give you a bigger one, mom. There's lots of room in this cavity. <laughs> You guys see that? You know, Mom, I can't find where my big turkey trays are to bake that. So the tray that I have to bake it is actually a little bit smaller than than what we're used to, but it's all good. All right, can you guys see what she's doing there? Hey, Candace, God bless you and happy Thanksgiving to you and the whole family. Wow, that's pretty big and insane. This was a 20 pound uh, turkey and it is uh, 30 minutes for every two pounds. Is that right? Or no, four pounds. Right? 15 minutes per pound. Okay. So one hour. All right, there it is. She's got it in there. And you put it in the neck cavity too. Okay. Wow, it took all of the stuffing. Okay, and she's gonna put it up on there. Look at it, used to took all of that stuff and I can't believe it. So in our stuffing, uh, it was on yesterday's show, we had the Pepperidge Farm stuffing. I chopped up about a cup of celery with some celery leaves, uh, grated and chopped, one entire large gala apple. Um, I used some hot sauce, lots of garlic. Why? Because garlic should go in everything. Um, some parsley, sage, pepper, a uh, little bit of Himalayan salt. and butter with chicken broth. Okay, boy, she's getting that all in there. So we made that yesterday, and just it's been in the fridge sitting overnight. All right, so now the bird is just about finished and ready to go to the next step of prepping. All right, so we'll see what mom's up to here. Hey, Alonzo, how you doing, boo? I hope you have the holiday off. Hi, La. Love you guys, God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys aren't flying anywhere at your home with your families. I love you guys. Do you guys remember that um, when I was in my, gosh, it was like my second year flying, I had designed my own wedding dress with a seamstress that I found on uh, Sheen Shon, which is wedding dress row in Seoul, Korea. You guys remember that? So. I kept going there for fittings and, um, well, first of all, I went there on a layover. I walked up Shinchon from shop to shop. And <laughs> of course, I didn't speak any uh, Korean except for Kamsa Hamnida and, you know, a couple words here and there. And so I went from shop to shop and I interviewed each of them to see if we would be able to communicate to, to get that, that dress. Uh, that dress designed without any communication barriers. So I found this wonderful lady. She did not speak any English, you know, and same, you know, I only had my couple words in, in Korean, um, but I just felt like she was the right one. So I went ahead and hired her. I sketched out my dress that I had designed and we communicated and uh, came to an agreement as to what it would look like. And then I went, uh, I flew back. I used to go to Korea like once or twice a month and in addition to Osaka and all that. But um, hey, Christine, you remember this, you caught my bouquet. <laughs> and uh, so I kept going in a couple layovers and I would take the um, the cab down to Shinchon and before we would go do our shopping and everything and go for uh, fittings. So what I did on, over this one Thanksgiving is I went ahead and took mom with me. Do you remember that mom? <laughs> I took mom with me on one of my three day trips. I was LA based at the time. 
Yes, for my final fitting. So I brought mom with me and <laughs> uh, she did get a first class seat both ways. We left the day before Thanksgiving on um, that Wednesday and then came back on that Friday. These were three day trips. They were like whirlwinds. You guys remember going shopping down there all the time. And um, anyway, so I brought mom with me on that trip. We went for our final fitting and it was just so memorable. It was beautiful. I was able to save thousands of dollars. My dress was hand stitched and the beads were all hand, you know, sewn on one bead at a time it's just a stunning dress beautiful exactly what I wanted and uh, I think I got the the entire dress and my hand stitch veil for I think it was twelve hundred dollars it was just incredible in fact who was on that flight with me were any of you guys on the flight with me from Seoul back to LA when I brought the dress back that was exciting and I did that the week after um, Thanksgiving then I brought it back it was huge remember we put it up there in that first class closet <laughs> Anyway, so um, mom and I have been together for a lot of our Thanksgivings, and that was just one that was really special to, to both of us um, all that time ago when we went on that three-day trip to, to Seoul. So, okay, I'll take a look here. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad that you like the stuffing. Well, I'll take recipes, but I always like to kind of tweak it and do our own thing, right, Mom? Yeah. So okay. you didn't tell them the best part about Korea, though. What? That. Yeah. When we got there, they wanted you to have a strapless bra. Uh huh. And you didn't have one. So okay. So I said, okay, I'll go buy you one. Mm -hmm. And the three Korean girls go, they were giggling. You're not half your size. Oh, no. <laughs> And mom, that's crazy because I think back then I was just all of like a 36C or something. It wasn't all that serious, but apparently it was. I, mom, I completely forgot all about that. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the turkey and stuffing then. Um, okay. Oh, I know, Christine. Um, thank you so much. And you caught my bouquet. And Wes Van Doren, where are you, Wes? Uh, caught uh, Vernon's garter belt, right? <laughs> Anyway, you guys, when are we all going to write our book? I mean, we should get together collectively and just throw down some stories because we have some stories, do we not? Uh, be sure to keep my hair covered. You guys remember yesterday when I did the show, I had to wear a scarf around my neck. I felt like um, uh, Keaton, what's her name, the actress, Diane Keaton. She's so beautiful, such a great actress, but she loves to wear her scarves around her neck. And I have to because I just had some moles and some skin tags taken care of, you know, um, uh, maintenance with my dermatologist. Be sure to stay safe and, and always get everything checked out anyway. So I'm going to spare you guys um, from that. But boy, that hot flash kicked in yesterday. <laughs> when I had that scarf around my neck, I was just about dying. So I thought, okay, today I'll just pull my hair in. <laughs> okay, um, let's get back to the bird. All right, so here we have the bird. You guys see it? It's all stuffed and ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and cover and i'm going to do that okay then mom can you stand here and let me see whoops this way and hold the camera like let me see there so that they can see the bird they don't need to get me in it but yeah just right there would be good thank you all right so i oops i have some spices here first of all i'm going to take some olive oil and all over the bird. You know what? I think we are going to transfer this mom over to the other pan. I think it's they're all stacked up in the basement on top of that of the refrigerator. Have some olive oil. Oh, I have a cumin out. We don't need cumin today. Um, all right. And we have some sage that we're going to put on here. You just really want this to be nice and moist. Mom, you can add your input. I learned from you. <laughs> so this there's... would fit better in that pan. The ham? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can put that in that one. That sounds good. All right, so I have the sage all over. Turn it that way just to scotch, Mom, a little bit more so you can see the turkey better. There you go. And this is just uh, garlic powder um, and, I, and minced garlic. I have minced garlic as well, but I'm just going to use the rest of that and a bit of onion powder. This sprinkled all over. And then we're going to crack some pepper with my messy hand. Oh, okay, here we go. 
black pepper. Okay, I'll wash that. And then we're going to go with a little bit of salt here. All right, ready? Don't want to get too salty, but it's nice when that skin has a nice crust on it. It's flavorful. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Transfer it down. All right, we'll transfer that now. Okay, let me spray that pan then too real quick, Mom. This is what I'm going to use to inject our bird. We're going to switch pans, you guys. You think so? I don't know if that one's wide enough. Oh. Let's see. Let's spray this pan. Oh, do I have to lift this thing by myself? Oh my gosh, this is grossing me out. Okay. All right, here we go. Use the handles of the rack. Oh, I forgot it was on a rack. That's right. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, still isn't. See, this one's whiter. I'll get the other the other pan. So anyway, go ahead and point it down a little bit so, and you can back up. I'll set that over here. All right, so we have the oil all over with salt. I'm just going to put just a little more. Whoopsies. Put a little more. Mom, my hands are icky. Can you open that for, or can you spin that lid open for me, please? Great, thank you so much. All right, just a little more here. All right, that for good measure. Okay, you rinse my hands real quick. Then we're going to inject the bird. And I'll show you what I like to do. I just kind of made this up. I don't know, I'm sure there's some proper recipe out there somewhere, but pretty much nothing I do is, <laughs> if my cooking is, is called proper. All right, so can you get this, Mom? I have a cube of melted butter in here. I have hot sauce, uh, minced garlic, salt, pepper, and onion powder, okay? All right, so we're going to take this here. Mix it. And back that up right about there, Mom. Yeah, that's great. Okay, then you just go and pick up one of these from the store. Ugh. There we go. All right, take my little lid off. So we're going to mix this up. There we go. Get a good mix. And it's completely melted. It's not partially melted, it's completely melted. I'm make sure that that's blended together really nice. All right, and here we go. See, there's my cute little turkey guy. Mom, I think you bought me this years ago. In fact, I think, I think, I think you got it for me when we lived in the Renton house at my uh, Christie's. Okay, put it into the bird there and inject it. And for all you people that love needles and injections like Wendy, are you out there, Wendy? <laughs> I'm sure you're just loving this part. Turn that way just to go so they can see how we're getting this in here. Okay, in it goes. Love to get it, especially right there in the breasts. A lot of flavor in there. And then the excess, can you hold that for me just like that, please, Mom? Thank you. And then get some here, some here. And then the rest of it. Yeah, can you hold that right there for me, please, Mom? Thanks. Again, there we go. Okay, turn it that way, inject it right in there. Okay, and then for what's left, just give it another good swirl here, and I just pour it all over the bird. Love that hot sauce, get a little heat going on in there. I mean, trust me, it's not going to taste like it's wings or anything. Um, there, the tips, the wings, legs. Here we go. Okay, and then in the oven it goes. This is a 20 pound bird, so we'll be cooking it for about five hours. And we're going to check on it probably after about two hours. 
I'm going to check that thermometer, make sure it's at the right temperature. And then you're going to use your, your baster here. You want to go ahead and absorb the drippings that are coming out and uh, put that all over the turkey again um, while it's cooking. And then when uh, the turkey is about an hour before it's finished, before we take it out of the oven, I like to go in there and take all of the drippings, put it in the pan, and then that's when I get going on my homemade gravy. That's so, so delicious, super yummy. All right, so I'm going to wash my hands again real quick, and let's talk about the ham. Mom, why don't you talk to us about the ham? Okay. This is a Montana Valley ham. Montana are Valley ham? Absolutely the best hams ever. Not too salty and very moist. And they have a wonderful glaze over here. Okay. If anybody's interested, this is it. Montana Valley hams. They give you all the instructions, even on the carving of it. Okay, and here's the telephone number, you guys. It's 1-800-636-HAMS, H-A-M-S. And online, it's montanavalleyhams.com, and that is plural. Mom brought one last year. Did Paul turn you on to this, Mom? Or somebody? Pardon me? Did Paul turn you on to this, or somebody? No. That's really good. So we thank you so much to Montana Hams. Here's... The cookies that they finished. Mom and Darius took uh, toothpicks there about an hour after they, they were setting to cool off and put the veins there in the cookies. Okay, so we've got the bird done, you guys. And they give you a cooking bag to put the ham in. It's already cooked. It only has to go in the oven. This is a half a ham. Mm -hmm. Only has to go in the oven for an hour. Okay. Okay, so there you guys go. So we have, there you go. So you have the Hi Auntie Donna. Hey Melissa, so excited to officiate your guys' wedding. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Hey Shell, happy Thanksgiving. Hi Rebecca, happy Thanksgiving. God bless the Diddy family. Hi Mary Jo. <laughs> Are you pleased with your uh, Green Bay Packers this year? <laughs> hey Melissa, can I bring you on camera? I'm gonna bring you on camera. See if this works. Let's see if I can bring my bride on camera with us. Let's see if that works. I did, I showed them the finished cookies with the veins. They look so pretty, Mom. Okay, so you guys saw how we did the turkey and then we shared the ham with you. Pretty much, you know, that ham just comes pretty much ready to go, really. But uh, don't forget that they're from the Montana Valley Hams and you guys can contact them to order your ham for Christmas or next year or really any time of the year, but they are delicious. Happy Thanksgiving. Tell them you heard about it on Solmonade. Yes, that's right. Tell them that you heard about it from Solmonade. Yes, that's right, Mom. Good point. <laughs> okay, do, do anybody else have any more questions before we um, go off the air? I have to cover my neck, you guys. Hi, Tommy. Happy Thanksgiving to you. God bless you guys. I'm glad that you're here. Hey Sue, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Does anybody have any questions about how we prepped the turkey and made the stuffing? Thanks for sharing, please share this. Thanks Tommy. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you guys too. Stay safe down there in Texas. All right, we need to get that bird in the oven. So 325 mom? 325 mom? I think so. Yeah, my oven is a little, runs a little cool. So. Okay, did you guys hear that? Mom says you tent it with, uh, tent it, you know, tent it <laughs> with foil. Hi, Marlis, happy Thanksgiving to you guys for about the last hour and a half. I am going to transfer this to another pan though. I have to go down and, and get it. Uh, it's downstairs in, the basement so anyway so there you go you guys there's the bird
Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thanks for joining us here on the Solmanad Show with Sonia. As soon as uh, my daughter gets here, Simone, I'll go ahead and go live with you guys later on today and we'll decorate our table. And, you know, she's an amazing interior designer, so I want her to help us with that and I'll share it with you guys. Thank you, Marlis. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys too. Thanks for sharing this, everybody. I think there should be a share button down there. Share it with everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Solmanad Show with Sonia. Y'all stay blessed and whatever you put your hands to do until next time.